also what is the flight plan for for these videos on anemia so anemia anemia flight plan flight plan and and i prepared um several w videos for you and some of them are with a apple pencil some of them are with regular pen and a paper but the ones with, with regular pen are really hard to produce it's it's very very much time consuming with the apple pencil it's much simpler but still i don't have a good uh, software for that so unfortunately the the lines are too thick i'm unable to make it thinner and i'm i'm just a rookie I'm, and it's funny that i'm I'm starting to be a YouTuber. Anyways, so so what is the plan for the anemia? So so first, uh, you should start with a video about iron metabolism. Second video is going to be about hemoglobin and pathies of it. Hemoglobin and pathies. Third one is going to be aiming on the Coombs test. Just a few words to remind you what is a Coombs test and what do we use it for. Fourth one is on MMA, methylmalonic acid. Very important in B12 deficiencies. And I, this video should really like force it into your brain that you should remember you can always use MMA to sort of check out B12. Uh, deficiency or sort of confirm the diagnosis five now we're going to finally define anemia and and talk about uh, clinical correlations etc and, and what is it why it is dangerous six um we're going to divide anemias divide anemias on two different groups and then I'm going to specifically talk about microcytic anemias in another video about macrocytic anemias and in another one on normocytic anemias. That's a big one because there are many causes and they, 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 we divide them in different groups. And then I want to tell you something about still some hints about blood smear. So something you can directly see on blood smear and maybe think this could be this type of anemia or whatever and 11 this has nothing to do with anemia anemias in a way or it could do it could do with hemolytic anemias but this is about iron overload and it's called hemochromatosis and and i will divide these type because you can see see it in, in patients with anemias because uh, Repetitive transfusions will lead to hemochromatosis, so so uh, that's why I'm, I'm mentioning it there. But they're also genetic. Uh, I mean, I'm dividing it there and and basically just telling a few words about it. So so that's that's for the flight plan, and let's go on. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.